Okay. Since we're trying to reconnect, I guess we did. Well, hello, Facebook friends. How are y'all doing tonight? Let's talk about desserts. Mama is getting ready to make a... Um, Mama, what are you making? It's Mama's supposed to be special. cranberry orange muffin mix. But what I'm going to do tonight is uh, we're going to fix the cranberry orange, but we're going to fix it in the stack cooker. And Johnny, you can show them. You're going to cook in the stack cooker. Yeah. The stack cooker, as y'all know, is this. Uh, and it, this is, this is just the way we're cooking here. So, it has this little tube, and you just put, put it down in here like that. And you just put it in the microwave, and I think it takes eight, nine minutes. Nine and you're done. supposed to be. Eight minutes. Eight I'm minutes, sorry. but you may have to go a little longer. I'm sorry. I, I was thinking we might go nine, because this has got... Well, hello from Australia. Wow. Hello, hello. How are you all? Hello, everybody. Hello. Everybody's starting to log in. It's good to see you all. Good to see everybody. And this is the cake mix, and I think I bought this at Walmart. I'm not for sure, so I think that's it. It makes good muffins, and there's a blueberry in it, too, that we like. Blueberry is really good in it. But this one, since it's... Halloween, as you can see, I'm taking it to church tomorrow, and I'm wanting to try. I've never made this kind of cake in there, but I'm going to try my best to. And this is a cost for a half a cup of water. This is a half a cup of water. Oh, you you gonna you mix? Let me mix it. You can mix it. And uh, let's touch y'all down so you can see what we're doing. We can't read. But we can, you can see what we're up to. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Okay, so this is a half a cup of water. Yeah. And then it calls for a half a cup of oil. Back this way, please. <laughs> Thank you. And you can open the cranberries for me while we're doing this. Cranberries. I should have had them open. I said, I guess cranberry is more for Christmas. Uh, but I said... Uh, if it's a sweet tree, it can it's be It's orange. And cranberry, and I thought orange was appropriate for Halloween, so that's the reason I'm wanting to fix this. A sweet treat's appropriate for any day, Mama. I reckon so. You know me, I'm high sweet. I have more sweets. So the cranberries are in here too. This is neat. I, uh, this is kind of like a little kit. Yeah, and like I said, I've never tried one of these boxes and stuff like that. I mean, it's nothing mixed stuff in here. And she's I, taking a chance on doing it right here live for y'all. Well, it messes up. It messes up. As Mama says, that's life. That's life. You just so here's the cranberries. They wait, look okay for canned cranberries. Let me get this in here first. And yes, ma'am. Here's your mix and your oil. Okay, let's and see. You, you can take care of that oil with that shirt you've got on. I don't know. Do you need to put an apron on? Well, Mom, I didn't even know I was cooking. I was just going to drink coffee once you cook. Well, you've got to... you got to get in on it and help me. Okay, you, man. i got to do. There you go, sir. Apron up. All right. Now, what I put in next, powder? The oil. And pour the oil in there, please. In first. Mm-hmm. Because we don't want the cake mix sitting on the bottom and if now you can put your cake mix nothing mix in there and get it started oh wow what's that smell like oranges mmm that does smell like fresh oranges mm -hmm. it's pure vanilla I mean pure lemon I've said it wrong twice just zip it up and forget about it. it, it can it be pure orange flavor? <laughs> yeah, you got it, brother. <laughs> I need an Easy interpreter. Easy for you to say, Mama. <laughs> I got an interpreter. Am I ready to mix now? Yeah, I'll mix that up. And then we'll put this. <laughs> I say vanilla lemon. <laughs> the, the vanilla lemon orange flavor. <laughs> just look over me. I'm just old. Can't help a lot. I mix this up in the supersonic chopper. Uh, this is the new one. The other one we called the chopper. 
but people couldn't find it. So because that wasn't the right name for it. <laughs> that's probably the reason, Mama. That's getting tight. Let me get this. Push it down on the sides. When you're making mixing in them, you want to push them down on the sides. Make sure you're getting all the liquid and all the um, other Goodies. stuff together. While you've got that off, I'm going to put my, uh, my orange. I was about to go through that same thing again. I must have flopped this up because it's got powder up in here. Good. Now, this is a thick batter. Yeah. Um, it's like muffins and stuff. Yeah, it's thick. It's not like a cake mix. It's thick. We may have to add a little more water. But these will look See, this is not your typical cake mix. This is muffin mix. And this will give it some moisture when we put this. So in. that is super thick. Let me get all the powder off. Like I say, people, we're just trying it. If it messes up, it's it's mixed. Hell, it's life. I'm gonna have to. Use your little thing here. Little cranberry, cranberry, cranberry. Ooh, those even smell good. I think that extra orange will paint up that orange. I'm smelling orange. This is like some kind of, uh, of uh, aromatherapy. <laughs> aromatherapy. I like that. It reminds me of Thanksgiving. Motherly. Yeah, this will be good for Thanksgiving. Well, we might, if this turns out real good, we might try it again Thanksgiving. We got all kinds of goodies for Thanksgiving too, don't we, Mama? Let me yeah. put this in your bowl. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved it out of your way. Get our little setup back together. I don't you run off of that rag. That little mess over there. I to, yeah, I see it. Mama's pointing out my messes. Mama, you're not in there. I'm going to oh, scoot I can, you oh, back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not terrible. I love you, Mama, somebody said. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Let's get this. They're probably laughing at me for vanilla, lemon, and orange. Good thing. Mama, I that's just the flavoring you made up just then. So. Yeah. I swear I put this together a hundred thousand times. It's just one of them days. Now that is thick, but that it... When you get the cranberries going. When you get the cranberries sauce, or pasta in it sauce, it's really... Cranberries. Cranberries. Real cranberries. Can't. So you're going to have to, if you do a muffin mix in here, it's almost like kneading dough. Mama, is this going to be muffins or cake? You're but it mixed it really well. Look at that. I'm going to have to put some more moisture in it. I'm sorry. You want more moisture right now? Let's see how it looks. But it's muffin mix. It's too thick to spread around in my bowl, though. Okay. There it is, folks. You see, it's good and thick, but it's good and mixed. Muffin mix ready to go. Let's see what folks are saying when you're getting some liquid. I use the bread for muffins. That's excellent. Okay, good. Hi from deep south Louisiana. Hello, Melissa. We love Louisiana. Is this all the... Hello? Well, you don't want it too thin. We're just going to put a so little... So Mama add just about, uh, not even a... A fourth. Not, not even a fourth. Just barely, Mama. You... Well, I don't want it soupy soupy, but I want it to weaken... You want it soupier? Soupier than that, so we can spread it all the way around. Okay. We'll do it, Mom. She's spraying the um, pan with a little bit of cooking original, whatever that is. Any cooking. kind of spray you want to use. Canola spray. Canola, okay. I could just see. I you can't, can't see, see the canola. That. Okay. Here now we go. Let's see what it looks like. I think we've got it to where you want it, but look how thick that is. Well, I hope it works out right in here. We're gonna make a muffin. Big round muffin. A big round muffin. With orange and cranberry. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. What have y'all been up to today? It's been a winter-like day here. Uh, it's kind of cool, rainy. I think the little youngins didn't get to trick-or-treat as much as they normally do. Some people had to opt for indoor things. I know Mama to get all this off there. 
best you can. You don't have to work with it. Ever. All right. Here you go, Mama. Uh, I've got the just, most of it. Just lay it on top of you. Lay it thing here. So All right. I got a cranberry on me. <laughs> okay. So she has sprayed this, and I'm just going to dab it around it. Dab it out in there. You won't pour this. You'll have well, to. Well, we may have to. Here, let me give you a little more water, cause that's not going to spread out in there good. Well, you were stingy with that water while I go, Mama. Well, I don't want it running everywhere. This is the first time we've done this, and thank goodness we're doing it live. <laughs> it's live. And then it smells better roses, it they say. Okay, let you me gotta stir. Take the good with the bad, and the bad with the good. I'll just stir this in with the hand. You're doing good. You got good strength. Since hands. you didn't give me much water that time either. <laughs> so I guess the theory here is adjust your mix. If you're going to use a muffin mix, you're going to make it into a bump pan. Adjust your mix a little bit. I hope. Wait a minute, let's see. I might have left something off. I can't read this. I know what I left off now. What was it, Mama? Two eggs? The most important part, to bind it together. The two eggs? Yeah. Mama, have you drank too much sweet tea today? I beat all sweets. Bread's not sweets, but it's... Should I try to reclaim this? Yeah. Fish. Next time I practice. No, it's just, it's okay. just part of it. So I've reclaimed a little bit there. Well, Beat that egg up. Well, I ain't got nothing to test this one with. Use a fork. I'll test it for you, Mama. How you gonna test I'll it? I'll show you. So you don't trust I me. don't trust you sometimes. It looks great. Beater up. Yeah. These are country eggs. From the real country. Right here. If you wouldn't have to go out in the cold and the rain and mud and mess, I would uh, get me some chickens. But I'm too lazy to take care of them. Mama, you don't. You ain't gonna take care of no chickens. You ain't gonna take care of no chickens. Now, my mom will put these in here. I don't know if I can get this beater back in there or not. I don't know. I'll pull it up. But I'm gonna give it a whirl. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just, you just have to clip it on that little thing down in there. Talking too much. Well, making this up as you go, it didn't make it any easier. Mama's a, a, a chemist. In the kitchen, she makes up stuff, and most always it's delicious. You don't find out nothing if you don't do it. Well, that's exactly right. Those who do sometimes fail, but those who don't fail every time. How did they ever make the first recipe? Trial and error. It's going a lot better. Yeah. I think I could have done better while I go if you'd had. To... <laughs> <laughs> if I had everything right that went in. While you're pulling it. Reggie box again, Mama. <laughs> See anything else on there? <laughs> oh, you'll need is a half a cup of vegetable, half a cup of water, vegetable oil, I should say. Half a cup of water and those two fabulous eggs that I left out. <laughs> that's you part got of, to have fun when you're cooking. That's a part of cooking. It's making memories, having fun, enjoying it. And we sure do that here. Cause if this we fix this we're... again, they'll say, Lord, you remember the last time <laughs> <laughs> I left out the eggs and we'll just slice and go on about it. Now see, that beater's coming clean now, Mama, a little better. Yeah. Whew. She planned that whole thing. She just wants to show y'all what not to do. <laughs> Don't leave out your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> now you had a good time doing this. Well, yes, Mama. I always have a good time when we get in the kitchen. <laughs> it's much thinner, much more manageable. This will work out a lot better. Yeah. But if you're fixing muffins, leave it thick. Thank goodness it only takes eight minutes to bake it. We took 20 minutes to stir it up. <laughs> you should have had this done in the microwave and less than 10 minutes. Here I spent 
10 minutes thinking to get the eggs in it. <laughs> Have you ever made stuff in, in the, that one ingredient and you're like, oh, it happens, folks. Yeah. This is real cooking with a cake mix. I always was taught and I always have heard if you don't make mistakes, you ain't done nothing. you're not doing nothing. That's what I've always told you, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Only reason you cannot make mistakes is absolutely not do nothing. And this smells don't. delicious. If it wasn't for them raw eggs, I'd taste it. Well, no, it might not taste good right now. It's one of them things, though, that just smells good before you even cook it. Now, that's why it has to go around that cake. Yes, ma'am. That pan, I mean. Yes, ma'am. I asked this lady to stir up some cornbread, and she never had made it before, which I didn't realize she hadn't watched it enough. Time. All right, Mama. Okay. You're ready to cook. Finish your story, and then we can put it in. We ain't in that big a hurry. She said, uh, where's you don't the put lid? lid on it. Okay, we're ready. And when she got it stirred up, she just barely had the meal and stuff damp. It was just dry, like almost. And I said, Time it bakes, you'll just have a rock. She said, well, I didn't never had made cornbread before. I didn't know. Uh, and I said, well, let me show you. Let's get some milk in here. Gotta have some buttermilk. So she said, now I know how to mix it up and do it. I said, yeah. Cut a little cakey. Here we go. All right. Cranberry and orange. That's got to be good, don't it? Let's see what y'all are saying. Maybe y'all get some good spice pumpkin cookies. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Our trick or treat is tomorrow night. Vicky, they've done ours tonight and it's right. Uh, you said, Mom, I love your top. So cute. Miss Brenda said that. She's got on some kind of leaf shirt. This is uh, the shirt's got a Come over here, Mom. On it. I'm going to have to get a wide angle lens that'll do the whole kitchen because Mama, she mills around. I, got to move. I was doing something today and I said, Here, Mom, let me show you. She walked over, stood two seconds. <laughs> I started doing something. I said, can you come back over here? Oh, okay. I said, I didn't show you nothing yet, Mom. I was trying to set her clock. Oh. <laughs> I was a little impatient, wasn't I? And this, she made chicken and dumplings. Oh, that would be good. Too. Let's see. This is, this inside shirt's got the scarecrow with Amber the made chicken and jack o' lantern on it. And this, I worked at school and we wore. Before they changed all the rules that you had to wear certain uniforms, we made, got a pattern from a girl, and she, we made aprons all the time like this, and we wore over our clothes. And this was a Halloween one, and I've got one that's got fall leaves. For every occasion, if I could find some material, I'd buy it, and I'd make an apron like this. It's just the front and the back and ties on the side. And... Uh, this is what this is, an old work apron that I used to have, wear every Halloween and stuff. And I had a whole bunch of them that got rid of a lot of them. Except oh, this Mama, she put, uh, well, let me go back. Well, I've lost you. One of them just said they put pecans in that same cake today. Oh, boy. Whoops, about dropped you. Well, that I'm going to fix a, a raw apple cake in just a little bit. And I intend on putting pecans in it. So I'm going to have, he's going to have, I've got to get this washed up so he can, I've got my apples. I'm from Northern food. Ohio, Ann. Mama is in a baking mood. We got homecoming at our church tomorrow. Church. And uh, so she is Southern tradition, doing a lot of cooking and baking and carrying on. I've got to fix uh, the ham in the oven. And this cake has to go in the oven, so I'm going to bake it tonight, the big cake. Uh, bake it tonight is the mm -hmm. reason I'm wanting to get it done, so I don't want to bake my cake and ham together. It ain't my taste. <laughs> hmm, okay. apple ham cake. That doesn't have a ring to it, does it? No, pineapple ham might be all right. <laughs> okay. Love the apron, Mama. Well, thank you. Paula said. So what's your all's Halloween or trick-or-treat night traditions? 
uh, I've seen some people, they do chili dogs. We used to do chili dogs. Um, a lot of people do different things. Um, it's, a, it's a good night to get together with family, and it's a good night to get to eat something good and have some good times. I had a coffee cake. Oh, hey, now you're talking my language. Uh, what else are you going to do, Mama? I'm going to uh, wash this up so you can use it again or get that other one out. Uh, you're going to wash it so I can use it? Yeah, I've got my bowl of apples cut up here. So well, I'm going to okay. be doing that on another video as soon as this cake. So we're doing two videos tonight. Mama's productive. Yeah. Whew, she's, that mm, we're not going to do that other tonight because it has to be. Oh, you're not going to do it live? Live because. So it, we'll, we'll video it and I'll post it. It has tomorrow. to be. Take, it takes too long to hold them on my live. Oh, because what, what, what's. You got to bake it longer. Yeah, 35, 40 minutes. So you don't want to. Lord, and we got to mix it up. You know, we it takes 20 Right now, I'm going to get me ah. some eggs out. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't the fastest on mixing them up. Lord, if we hadn't had the supersonic chopper, we'd still be mixing. <laughs> I hear it's some eggs. Get them eggs out, Mom. They need to be room temperature anyway. Let them warm up. Let these little babies get warm and get out here and get fixed. Maybe I won't forget them this time. And get the apples to go on. Be, is this this is raw apple cake? What's it called? Raw apple cake. And uh, I'll tell you where you can find it. Well, you can tell them. You talk better than me. She's want me to tell you. She don't, she don't think y'all can hear her because she's over there. Why you won't be able to hear me. I run around. But I'm not <laughs> she's... Why are you tell them I might wash this stuff up a little bit? Well, Mama, you can stand here for a minute. Right here is the... Uh, the cake it's in the well cupboard. let's don't confuse the situation i will read this to you later when we do the other video because this this ain't got nothing to do with that cake but the apple cake does come out of our church cookbook on page 35 they want to look it up and go but that's not the one we're doing now so don't get confused with the two this one that we're doing now is out of this little box right here a kit as you called it <laughs> a kit because it had the cranberries in there mm -hmm. and the orange oh it had orange zest in there with it too yeah but Can I include, and it's cranberry orange muffin mix. I can't say the crust, crust, crusties. Those that right there, crusties, crusties. Anyhow, that's what it come from. This came from the big store. <laughs> yeah, the big it. store, aka the Walmart. So our little save lot down here does not have it. Not this brand. So it. that is the, and it's a muffin mix. So we added another, uh, let me just tell you what we added different. We added about a fourth of a cup of water More. extra. And uh, we put two eggs in it. Finally. <laughs> but that's on the box. You'll see that too. You going to make a glaze for this, Mom? I don't know if I will or not. I might make a, uh, what is it? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar glaze, like on a donut or something. Well, Mom, it but, seems to me like a... A, something called a cranberry orange cake should get have glazed. at least a little glaze. Maybe with a little orange flavor, maybe a little vanilla flavor in it. And, <laughs> and add a little lemon just to kick it off. Do you want to watch that and I'll make a glaze? Yeah, we're going to. You can't, you can't have a good cake without some kind of icing, some kind of topper on it. Since I made a big pot of chili, yes, I love chili. Uh, we made chili a couple of weeks ago. We ate the, uh, well, I know what we ate. Vegetable beef soup last Vegetable night. Vegetable beef soup we made. <laughs> Take me a piece. Now, we, that was frozen. That was when I made it back last month. So, you ain't missed a video. We ain't cooked without y'all. You want me to do some of these? I want to use a chop. Mama's got these two cakes. We'll have cakes and apples. This one's quick. It's got another less than two minutes, and it should be done. And that's quick in a microwave. That's what I wanted. And so when she uh, washes the little beaters up there, I will stir up a quick little glaze to go on top of it. And uh, we'll just do uh, powdered sugar and cream. And you're going to put any butter in this, Mama? A little butter? Butter, yeah. 
So she'll get the ingredients together for that. And we'll do powdered sugar and cream butter. Butter cream mix. And put a little orange flavoring in it. And uh, mm, 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 mm. it'll be good. This is, I made taco soup. Now, I absolutely love taco soup. Do you make the chicken or do you make the beef? I like both. Uh, they're totally different, of course, but I like both. Sometimes I crave the, the taco chicken and sometimes I do the um, ground beef. I like both of them. I'm going to need to try that cake. Vicki, we're going to we're gonna show you right here in a minute. It won't be cool enough to put the icing on uh, for probably, we'll probably have to end this line before it's time for icing. But it will be... Uh, we will be able to show you because it's only got about 40 more seconds till that'll be done. Guess that's the way you get butter. Mama's dropped the butter because our refrigerator runneth over. See, watch her. She's got that pile in the top because that's I'm just the way it, it is. Just that's just the way it is when you get so much stuff. We try to go to the store as least as we can uh, for the reason of the COVID and other things, and that way. We stock up when we go. We go a big time. It says make it make bacon jam. Make Katrina, what? that sounds wonderful. What is it? Bacon jam. Bacon anything sounds good. Okay. Well. How can I order Tupperware, Sally? There'll be a link. I'll put a link in the comments uh, below this video tonight. I'll put a. It'll be a long comment, and it'll have all of our links of our Etsy page and all the things. I always put them in there together. And the church cookbook will be in that link as well. And it'll be in the comments below. So um, just search for comments and you'll find all the links that we have. Did it pull away from the sides? Yeah. It has, hasn't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. And if it's your toothpick, you check it. Well, it smells good. It smells orangey. I'm yes. not ready to get into it and not take it tomorrow. Mm. Now it's Maybe light because it's a muffin. What am I doing with the toothpick? Well, it's the old fashioned Southern Clean Toothpick Test. Don't know if y'all do that or not, but if you stick a toothpick in there. In the center. Right? In the center, or I just stick it in four or five places, to be honest with you. And it comes out clean, meaning no liquid, no batter. Then, you know, see my toothpick? Then it's done. And this one is. And there it is, folks. It looks more like a muffin. I guess because it is a muffin. It's a big old muffin. I gotta but it's done because it's pulled away from the sides all the way around. You can, let me pull you all down here. Hold on just a second. Don't you fall. See, it's pulled away from the sides. So I can... I know it's a good half inch away from the sides. Uh, so we know it's done. And I took the toothpick, checked it. And it's clean. So... In, what'd you put this on? Eight minutes? Nine minutes, I believe. Nine minutes? So in nine minutes, you had cake. And Better you can, not trust me too good. I don't just you can have lemon cake. Hand me uh, something to clean around that right there. You can have lemon cake just as quickly. What do you want? A paper? Uh, when you make the lemon bunt cake in it in a whole cake mix, it fills the whole thing. And it's huge. And it's tall. And it raises up. I need something to go around that like a case knife. Oh, I thought you just want the clean. Mama thinks everything's about cleaning. I need a case knife. Uh, yeah, this is what we call a case knife. I've heard last time I got a case knife, somebody said some butter knife. We call it a case knife. Uh, in oh, these part life. of the woods, it's like a can of evaporated milk is being creamed all my life, and it'll be bad till I die. And we also call it a screwdriver when we need a screwdriver. But <laughs> you don't with mamas. Because mama will can. tear you up if you get her case knife out and use it as a screwdriver. Okay. Now what's your mama? I don't like my Mama, this has got a long ways to file. Well, good luck, honey. <laughs> Just Come on here, mama. Get Let him, <laughs> let's your... your... Whoop, here we go, folks. Here it is, Flip live and in person. Let's flip it fast. Oh! Shaky, it shaky. It all come down. There it went. It did good. Shaky, shaky. It did real good. Mm -hmm. Clean as a whistle. 
Just a little glue thing. I'm going to use it. Oh. Right now. Let me get my case knife back up. See, he went off center of the plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's right. Okay. Buck up and take it, right, honey? You need a lifter, don't you? Well, yeah, he's... i got to get him slid over there. Now, he is a muffin, so he is a little bit lighter than like a cake would be. But a cake would brown in here. I'd have to leave it longer, but I don't want it dried out. No. We're going to cover him over his little muffin self. This is... Should have spread the... Sprayed the plate. Okay. He's in about the center. You done good getting it lined up. There he is. One wonderful orange cranberry cake. It still smells good. It smells delicious, Mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mama, if you would hand me back the supersonic chop. Oh, I didn't get it washed because we was busy. Okay. Well, we can use the um, we can use our old faithful. Bag. This one is the one the one prior to the supersonic. This is one that we sell prior to it that y'all see me use so often. Mama, this is the wrong one. Give me that one over there. I think it'll work. But this one has a black string is how I know the difference. Okay, where's the powdered sugar? Okay, I'm going to put into the mixer. I'm going to start out with one cup of powdered sugar. That's a high cup measure. And I'll use two of them, I promise. I'm gonna level that off. I'll be honest with y'all, I'm doing this for y'all because I'd probably just scoop down in there and get me a couple and That's what we we don't measure stuff much in right uh, here. Do it but <laughs> I'm trying to show y'all a recipe here. So this will be a cup of powdered sugar. And if I add more, I'll tell you how much. I'm going to leave you. So that's a cup of powdered sugar. And this, is this pure, Mother? Yeah. Pure orange extract. So with pure, you want to use just a little less. Can y'all see what I'm at or where I'm at? No, you can't. It says, hello. I make the taco beef. Yeah, I love it. So this is the pure you don't want to overpower it. I guess I can use a little. Okay. I'm not going to use a teaspoon. Now, don't get that confusion going. I'm going to use not even a scant half. A scant half. When you hear somebody say scant in a recipe, that means if I say a half, it's probably not quite a half. So, probably a fourth of a teaspoon would be a better measurement. Now, if you've ever dealt with powdered sugar, you know that it 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 doesn't take a lot of liquid to really so I'm just gonna start with this butter here and, and then we'll put a little cream. What's that mama? Orange. Oh you're gonna put that in here? Paste. Maybe I'll do that in here. It's dry. Is that food color? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Mama, that is food color. Well, it ain't coming off there, Mama. I know it. I've let it. Okay, we'll see what we get. You want to try to mix that up in there with that fork? Might get some more. I'm out of it, but the problem is it's... You're down to the bare bones? Yeah, you may have to get some more out of there if you can. Well, it can be light orange, can it? Yeah. I just want to have some color instead of white. Okay. So you want more in here? Yeah, get a little more to get it orange. Mama's going orange. This ain't going to be... I don't want it dark orange, but I want it to have a hint orange, so they'll kind of know what it is. I think you need to replace your gel. I know it. I've got to get it. Okay, we've dissolved a scant of uh, gel food coloring into this butter, hoping we'll get a little orange color. If we don't, I can scrape the 
tinge more out. Well, of here's your case knife back, Mama. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, so I'm gonna put start with the butter. Ooh, it is orange, Mom. Oh, it'll mix up orange. Yeah. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna put, put just a little bit. In there and it hit for a while. How much are you gonna put of this? Just to start out with. Just a little, cause it'll make it. Just soup. cover the bottom of yeah. your. Whatever. It a is. scant of butter of cream. It'll just take some more of that color out of there. Mm, I'm think gonna be orange. Mm -hmm. Where's that spatula? Well, wow. they'll get you another one because I'll get more sugar. Mama, you're going to be washing dishes. I'll get all the color out of there. Now, this is going to be the um, icing to go on top of our orange cranberry muffin cake. I did have some dried cranberries, but I don't know if somebody used them. Well, it wasn't me. Oh, surely it wasn't me. I'm not bake. I'm not a baker. That's Mama's curse. <laughs> Use a little bit more, she said. <laughs> Another time, what little drops I scrape around. And Mama, there it is. Do you want more? Yeah. Because that ain't going to be much ice. No, and you're going to have to put more cream in it. So I'm going to use another half a cup of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, uh, depending on the weather outside, which ours is wet, it will it uh, it'll go liquid very quickly. So I'm using another half of a cup of powdered sugar. If you get too much powdered sugar, you think you have, just add a little, little bit more liquid and you'll be back to where you was. And I'm going to add a little bit more milk, cream, as we call it. This is canned cream, canned evaporated milk. Now, I did a little research on that and it used to say canned cream. cream. Pet canned cream, carnation cream, and it used to be a lot thicker if you're old like me. You'll know that it needs, to, it needs some more milk in it because it needs to kind of let it run. That'll run, won't it? That'll run. Okay. It'll run, run, run. That'll run, run, run. Don't mess that up. Well, Mama, you achieved orange. Woo! <laughs> Let's see. No, because that's orange. It'll it might color something. Yeah, I probably would, Mama. That's pretty bright orange. Mm -hmm. Now, the cake is not quite ready for this because it's still warm. Put a little bit on it and they can see how it's going to cover it, and then we'll let it cool and do all of it. Okay, Mama. Let's see how. Just imagine on one spot how pretty. Is it? It's thick. It's hot. hot. Microwave hot. It's hot. It's cooked hot. I want y'all to see it. It'll probably run downtown somewhere. This will well, run so much. Just sprinkle one little speck and we can cover it up. Oh, you're getting every horse for us to run out. Well. That's good right there. Consistency is important, Mama. <laughs> you can't be told. <laughs> if it runs, at least it'll all run together. This is pretty much what it's going to look like when we get through with it. Mm -hmm. A big orange donut. We'll put the rest of this on there when it cools because this will, as it warms, it'll start to slide up there. But that's going to be the you can orange. see right here on this side where it's going down. It's going down. But that it's hot. So... There it is, and it's going to be a big orange it donut. Cool it. You think? Probably That'll should help. put it on a rack if you want it cooler. Uh, we've quicker. got time. We're going to work on this other. So is this all you're going to do with this, Mom? Yes, sir. That's what it's going to look like. You know, that ain't running near as quick as I thought it would for it no. to be that hot. Mm -mm. But there it is. And it'll, it'll slice pretty. We'll slice it little narrow pieces, and it'll be wonderful. Whew, it's almost tempting to get into it, ain't it? I know. <laughs> We may have to slice it and platter it. 
You're just going to eat it two or three slices. <laughs> you can't tell. We made a bunt cake one night Mama made for... Uh-huh. I remember when I was a kid, and uh, <laughs> she made it, and we went somewhere, come back, and Mama said, did you cut my bunt cake? I said, no. And Dad had cut her bunt cake and cut a slice out of it like that, and she said, I was going to take that. And he took it, and he went, you still can. They'll never know. And he's just pushed it together, and... I think you did. I didn't take it. <laughs> I didn't have no choice but to do it. Uh, let's see if he has any questions. I had to hide the anything I was going to take some horse if I didn't just guard it because he'd say, hey, they ain't going to miss one piece. <laughs> oh, Virginia. Hello, Kathy from Virginia. There is, oh, that does look yummy. Don't it? I don't, you know, that's staying on there, Mama. Oh, it is. It's staying right. I figured that would run to the bottom it's and pull. It's just a little bit in that one spot. Mm-hmm. You might ought to go ahead and put it on and just let it run what it can. Just let it run? Ah, that's it. It's hot. Heat coming out of it pretty <laughs> Normally, it don't, it don't do that well. Uh, now, this, now, let me tell you this icing I just made. That's called buttercream icing, and you can use that in any flavor, any color, whatever you want to use. We use the same thing for lemon, except we put lemon extract in it, pure, vine- pure lemon in it. Um, yeah. You can use it for, you can put peanut butter in it, you can make peanut butter icing. You can use it for any flavor, that same powdered sugar cream. All except if you're butter. putting cocoa in it, you have to put the cocoa in with the powdered sugar. In with the dry powdered sugar. It makes it up real good. It won't be no good. But you could do chocolate if you put it in the powdered sugar and sift it through, and uh, you're fine with that. But this is a wonderful icing, and it's primarily what you buy at the store in the cup. It's just there's a little thicker, and that's what you'd have there, too. You can make that as thick as you want. You've seen how. Yeah, this is pretty thick. I mean, it's it's as thick almost, well, not quite as what you get in the store, but it's pretty thick. But you could left out some of the You milk. made it some color with the spatula, Mom. Oh, wow. I did good, didn't I? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on here. If it runs, we'll have a little dab to do it again. You'll have enough left on it till it won't. You see where I... They can tell it's homemade if it runs and gets messy. I don't think it's going to run too bad. It's not. Oh, that's messing up. Mm -mm. See? I see. I see. But I'm going to fix it, Mama. Stop. What happened was... The heat was... The heat was underneath of it. And it had created like a, a solid sheet on top. But, Mama, as you see there, I fixed it right up, and it's blended right back down. Mm-hmm. Tell you touch another spot. <laughs> it's unblended. The reason I better put it all on there now, or it will it won't show it'll show up bad later. Can y'all see what I'm doing down here? No, they can't. So what had happened, and it, this does this sometimes. It, it had see right here, like where this was the odor was on there when I first found there. It kind of skimmed off. But that was because um, it had a little bit of heat under, heat it. under it. So I'm just going to go ahead, put what we're going to put on there, and it'll be what it'll be. We'll have to eat it if it don't look pretty. Oh, that would be tragic. <laughs> it might be why you keep messing with it. Now, one thing about it, if I mess it up, Mama won't take it. That's right. I ain't taking nothing messed up. I did take a cake squashed together one time, I don't know but what I didn't it. have no other. But you couldn't tell it when you got done. No, but I didn't have no other choice. He Mama it. tells everything anyway. It ain't like she didn't get right to church and tell everybody what Dad done. <laughs> she spent 20 minutes trying to hide it and then got right there and said, let me tell you what Don done. <laughs> Now, Mama, am I telling the truth? Mama That's the truth. I would have let him eat it. I'd have come up with something else. He had a funny way and everything. But he fixed it. He said, just put it together. I he didn't try to hide it from me. He'd done it after he got back. Mm-hmm. He thought it was ours. He didn't know it was for company. He, I fixed stuff for him all the time. I... I did a lot more baking and cooking then than I do now, didn't I, Johnny? Yes, ma'am, you did. This is turning out good because it's 
coming right down in the middle. Look at all that wonderful. I like to fill a bunt cake. I always like to fill the middle with icing. So when you slice into it, you get that little tip in, a pure delight of icing. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, Mama, and go over here and wish well, Mama, we're all going to say goodbye, so don't run off. Look here, folks. This is the finished product. There it is. Beautiful orange cranberry. I'm going to fix that center just a little bit better there. There we go. Voila. And Mama can uh, put some cranberries on top of it. She finds her craisins. And, uh, I didn't find them. Pick some up. And that's going to be it. Put that in a pie taker. And uh, away it will go for enjoyment. Mm -hmm. So, folks, we're going to wrap this live up. And we're going to say uh, good night to you folks. And mm -hmm. we're going to do another cake right now. And uh, as you all can know, it's 922. And I go to bed early. But Mama's wanting to bake. So, if Mama wants we to bake, we'll show and bake. We was lazy around. I got up when at 5 o'clock. When you've got other things to do, it's hard to pack it all in a short amount of time. That's right, Mama. Mm -hmm. Now, on top of this, tomorrow, before you get ready to take it, one little thing you can do is you could take your sifter, and that's what this is in here for. I keep it in our old And you can just cook. take it and put it. You can't see that. See, I forget. You just take it and put your uh, powdered sugar in there and just tap it like that on top, and it'll just make a nice It'd little. Frost on the pumpkin. Frost right? on the pumpkin. <laughs> Frost on the pumpkin, Mama. You got that right. Yeah. You're reading. Better go there and wash them dishes, Roxana oh, yeah. would say it. Hello, Roxana. Oh, I, I will have to, Roxana. I really will. No, I'm going to go now, Roxana. Uh, you know how he is. <laughs> I, I wash dishes a lot of times, Mama. Yeah. I'm a dishwasher. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to say goodnight. Uh, and, and we're going to... Oh, you got me filthy in here. I didn't do that. I tried to get your arm out of there. We're going to say good night, and we're going to let you folks go. And we are going to uh, make an apple cake, and we will film it. So if there's any mistakes that we make, we'll show you later. Just, <laughs> it's not right now, like we did tonight. <laughs> so we'll have that apple cake uh, recipe up. I'll try to put it up tomorrow afternoon. I've sometime. got the eggs. Laying over here, but I'll probably forget something else. No, Mama, them eggs is going in there, I promise. <laughs> I won't forget eggs, but I might forget something else. <laughs> We're going to go now, and y'all have a good night, and have a great um, day tomorrow, if we don't see before then, so you can have a great one. Talk to you later. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and have a blessed Sunday tomorrow. Bye-bye.